obviously one of the highlights for me was um, getting to play opposite Felicia Rashad. Uh, yeah, okay. Awesome. Uh, that was just outstanding. And um, also this journey that Randall and Beth have been on in terms of both of them trying to find their calling, what they feel um, their dreams are, and you know, trying to fulfill those within a marriage, and it's two people trying to fulfill um, dreams. And so what that tug of war has been has been very interesting for me as a, as a character, as an actor, I should say. Yeah, uh, highlights for me. There's, there's a lot. Um, I love the whole Vietnam storyline and the discovery of Uncle Mickey. Um, I love what Toby and, and Kate are going through in terms of like the work that people can and often do put into becoming parents, and it doesn't come easily for everybody, um, but they're committed. Um, but I would say like my, the biggest highlight has been being Susan Kelechi Watson's scene partner. <laughs> and and just watching her put in devastating work week in and week out and like in a real way like she moves me like she really really moves me I can remember a scene in particular where she was telling Randall that he had to get out of bed and go to Philly to go to church so he could keep campaigning after she didn't want him to do it and then changing her mind and she was recounting the story of like when they were in the shoe store and the eucalyptus oil oh, yeah. mm -hmm. on the person's hands that reminded her of a father who passed from cancer and everything and I, was, I would be acting and I felt like I'd be present as, as Randall but then Sterling would just be like girl you better work like, you better <laughs> work so yeah that's been I'm really blessed to, to get a chance to be her TV. Yeah, husband. me too. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, 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 no, but yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah. It should be said. Yeah. Well, I was interested. That's the best part, I think, right? Yeah. Because as, as the actor, artist, you want to reflect humanity, especially in these moments where we are just portraying the everyday person. And and the importance and the significance of the everyday, everyday person. Because so many times in our society, the people that get put up on pedestals, you know, have to have moved a mountain or, you know, have 67 million followers or whatever it is. But what is it to really look at the people who on the day to day are doing what we deem normal, but trying to do it to the best of their ability and how that moves things and how that is admirable. And I, I love that we get to be these normal, yet admirable people, you know? And I love that they come in this package, these packages, <laughs> you know? Because, right? Yes. Because that's also very normal, very admirable. Absolutely. A very beautiful thing that's translatable, relatable. Yes. And, and we get to represent some really great things. Black love. <laughs> um, I would say that there's always sort of like this, this beautiful and wonderful thing attached to Randall and Beth with regards to relationship goals, et cetera. And I, I think that their marriage is one to sort of emulate. But w it's important to us that in the emulation of it all, like it's, I don't want to mislead people. We don't want to mislead people into thinking that it's just easy. Yeah. <laughs> that a relationship is just easy. Mm -hmm. Like, as long as there's communication and appreciation and a sincere desire to find a way to make things work, you will be okay. But there will be times in which you don't feel okay. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, in the relationship goals of it, you have to see people work through stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's been an exciting challenge for both Sue and I to be able to go through some stuff so that those relationship goals are truly Earned. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm curious to see because we know that Kevin and Zoe have slightly differing ideas now with regards to becoming parents, mm -hmm. right? And by slightly, I mean um, diametrically opposed. <laughs> <laughs> She's fairly entrenched in the idea that she doesn't want children. And now, since he's become an uncle for the 
fourth time, I'll say. Mm -hmm. I guess none of my kids was able to make him like want to become a dad, but then his sister has one because twins, you know how they are. Mm -hmm. um, but his sister, our sister has a child. He's like, you know what? I can now see it. And now I'm wondering like what that means for their relationship. Mm -hmm. Curious about that. Yeah. I'm curious to see what happens with baby Jack. Uh. Because... We, yeah. we've, we've seen this right so far okay so yes with baby I want to um, you know know what happens in that family dynamic uh, what what happens between Kate and Toby how the, how this affects them yeah. um, and just also baby I'm concerned I mean he was early premature is like very early a serious thing it, I mean, yo Rook we would talk about that like in different members of the cast had different mm -hmm. experiences with knowing or being family members of premature children mm -hmm. and people who have been in the NICU for four months mm -hmm. five, like long mm -hmm. periods of time so to be in on that set which was eerily realistic um, was sort of like it, it brought up some stuff so there with Toby in particular mm -hmm. just being like um this this isn't necessarily what I signed up for. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not sure how this works moving forward, but you figure it out because it's your kid. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's tense, America. We try. <laughs> I mean, we it's are, a crossroads. Yeah. We are so that's how when you get to a crossroad, you know, it feels as though there's an impasse, right? Yeah. And so we have come to a place of impasse mm -hmm. and then now how do you figure it out now how what I, i'm i'm concerned <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm concerned. Oh, no. it's it's intense um it's it's probably like the largest sort of impasse that they've reached in their relationship mm -hmm. um and it's hard when you're in the midst of something to see a way out. Yeah, that's true. The the goal of marriage, you know, sickness and health, rich or poor, till death mm -hmm. do us part. The goal is to like have faith in the midst of that impasse that there still is a way out. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll mm -hmm. see. Yeah. Yeah.